All right, good morning from Ipo. And full disclosure, we are now vlogging before the first cup of coffee. <laughs> so we're a little slow. We only chose this restaurant for breakfast because it's full of people, mm -hmm. which is always a good sign in Ipo. And I will say, I love the aesthetic. Right. Painting on the walls, and the pictures over here. Beautiful design. We've got tons of food, which looks very good, as well as some kopi si kosong, which is coffee, evaporated milk, and no sugar. Mm, Iced. Look at that. So quite nice. Now we're ready to eat tons of different beef rib, pork rib, Ooh. noodle soup, you name it. <laughs> let's eat. Okay, let's eat. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Coffee and Churchu for waking me up. <laughs> now, as you guys know, on the past three years, uh -huh. I've been on a quest for food acceptance of all types. <laughs> so I really want to enjoy all of those. Uh -huh. I think cooking is art, and I think I should really appreciate all different forms of art. So my point is, uh, chicken feet. Uh, I've tried before. <laughs> really hard to enjoy. We're going to try again. This one is good. So the technique I is like it. put the whole thing in your mouth. The whole thing. Not the whole thing. No, no, no. A good size of it. <laughs> and then spit the bones on the table. Yeah. This is the proper technique. I really don't enjoy finding bones in my tongue. Uh, what do you call the chicken finger? Toes? Finger? <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> what do you call it? I them? can't describe it. <laughs> it. Doesn't look appetizing. I will say that. So, okay, uh, finger by finger. Come on. Just push it in your mouth. Get rid of the bone. <laughs> Actually kind of good. The flavor is good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Tastes like starriness or... This one, they really cook it well. Almost like cinnamon, but like yeah. the, the flavor is good, but the... So it's not... Ooh. That's a bone. Oh, it's pretty clean, Steve. Wow. This one is easy to get rid of the meat from the bone or the whatever. It must be boiled or something. It's yeah. very soft. It's very tender. It's actually good flavor. Yeah. You're just not used to it. <laughs> <laughs> will I finish the whole chicken foot? You will. Stay tuned to find out. By the way, the noodles. Oh my gosh. Oh, so, so good. good. The minced yeah. pork so good. I gotta say, it's hard to find like really tender and soft and fatty char siu. Normally, it's very dry, but this one, very good char siu. So amazing. Really nice makeup. Yeah. Coffee and char siu in the morning. Mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and then the beef noodles and chicken feet. Oh. <laughs> End <laughs> Good job. All right. There you have it, guys. All right, let's enjoy. This one is good. Is there any more bones in there? Yeah. Yeah. Just put it in the mouth and Don't bite. You're just gonna like squish it in your mouth. Like. <laughs> mm. So? The shame is the flavor is not bad. <laughs> Mentally, I have a phobia. How about, like the texture? Phobia. Texture. Texture. Texture? texture of the meat is okay. It's called. It's like soft. Yeah. Okay. But finding, discovering bones in my tongue, it's a new technique I'm learning. Uh, but still, you prefer this than anchovies? Ten times out of ten. <laughs> ten times out of ten. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, let's try the beef. I tried the beef too, and it's so tender. Very good. <laughs> okay. Is this done? It's gotta be done. No, eat the all this. Turn it over, turn it inside. Just put it in your mouth. Just put it in your mouth. Everything. Then you take it out. Yeah. Okay, then push it out. Okay. 
Yesterday, I learned my lesson not to wear a white shirt while doing jalan-jalan cari makan, food hunting. But I thought I wouldn't get it on my skirt. I oh. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. It looks Messy a bit eater. like looks a bit like camouflage here. It blends in. <laughs> it's a good skirt for food hunting. <laughs> you know what? I learned from someone. Shout out to Vincent to wear elastic pants. <laughs> There you have it guys, unexpectedly pushing my boundaries with surprisingly good results. That breakfast was the nature of travel, summed up in one meal, because the chicken foot was manageable and I think next time I'll be able to enjoy it slightly more and maybe I can level up until one day I'm gladly eating chicken feet. <laughs> it was good, it was good. You you will get used to the it. The flavor Just was like there fish. but phobia, I have phobia. Think of it as Healthy. Lots of collagen. Healthy, Healthy for you. Healthy food. Yeah. There you have it guys. Okay, the journey in Ebo continues. Let's go. Here we are at Sung Po Tong Buddhist Cave temple and we are on our way to the sort of main cave temple now although the smaller one out front already has this place as a must visit in Ipo if you ask me. I really love the Buddhist cave temples because I love the idea that the floor plan of the temple sort of naturally follows the inside of the cave. Obviously the Buddhist people have built incredible sculptures and incredible monuments within the temple but the architect was mother nature herself and so it seems very natural and very relaxing and what I like about the one out front was that there's lots of holes up top where fresh air comes in so it's relatively cool and relatively dry as far as caves go and so as you're naturally climbing up getting to a beautiful viewpoint at the top you are not too tired when you make it and I will say on a more practical level it's nice to venture through all the staircases just to burn some calories and get some of this delicious Ipo food moving so Beautiful to be here and let's explore this one, see what we can see before we go probably eat some more food and probably overeat again for lunch. All right, let's go. This place is something special. Everything about it, even the way there's like water damage and mold here, looks so perfect. And shout out to my hat for being the perfect hat to fit in with the scenery. <laughs> This is really something special. Unfortunately, we cannot go in here, but even just staying outside is incredible. And unfortunately, we cannot fly the drone because we're near an airport. But this entire place, I'm like whispering out of sheer amazement. It's just so elegant and quiet and serene, and I absolutely love it. I feel like it's the perfect place to do yoga or have a picnic. Or something. I wonder if you're allowed to bring food in here. I think you probably are. Buddhist people are usually pretty cool and go with the flow. Oh, you want a tortoise pond? Did you see? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, a miniature temple. <laughs> a miniature version of oh, the yeah. temple with all the cave. The front steps. And the hills. That's the uh, front gate. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. Yo, easiest place for photography we've been in recent memory yeah well, everywhere you put the camera <laughs> this. i just imagine all those chinese movies where the people are like in the traditional old chinese clothing yes and they were like flying and fighting with the wind <laughs> with their hair <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hair. yes yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, you could zoom in, you could zoom out, you could do anything you want. Beautiful. Looks awesome. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> Buddhist temple for the win.
Check it out, guys. Looks like another secret oasis. The last one was quite small, but quite spectacular. And this one is huge. This is like a secret kingdom over here. This is something special. Former mine? Former tin mine? No. The stone here. The day taking the oh, marble. 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 Marble mine. Yeah. It used to be tin mine. Um, used no, this point is a tin mine. Ah, this point. Ah, that one is a marble. That one is marble. The pond was a tin mine. Yeah. And over there's a marble mine. Yeah. And now it's a tourist attraction slash Buddhist cave temple. Just great. Let's go explore. Twelve ringgit. Twelve ringgit. Two person boat. Can. Ole. I guess we go right here. Which looks pretty great because the little river goes around the rock. The tree here with the uh, ribbons in it, dude. Everything's so photogenic. Oh, look at this. With this little rubber ducky boat. <laughs> okay, sounds fun. <laughs> Let's go. Time for some boating shenanigans. You ready? Looks pretty dreamy, no? <laughs> <laughs> Looks dreamy, is right. <laughs> yeah, true. Canada. Where are you from? Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. Safe, right? Safe, right? That's forward, reverse, and neutral, baby. You don't know how to speak Chinese, do you? How to steer? Okay, right? Middle Go straight. straight. Oh, it's not forward, reverse, and neutral. It's right, straight, left. You, you don't know, I can't speak. Hold on, we're gonna go left. Oh, it works. Okay, okay, relax, relax. Yeah, yeah. Just, just relax. Feel we we are buoyant. here to enjoy. Look at this. It's so much peaceful when you're not paddling. Oh, very nice. Ooh. Okay, okay. Let's let's do some Buddhist. Uh, focus on your breathing. <sighs> Ivana, imagine, imagine there's a hook above your head and you're just hanging. So it's good posture, right? Hanging uh -huh, from your uh -huh. head. Okay. Focus on the air. Going in your nostrils. <sighs> what do you hear? What do you feel? <sighs> feel the air on your skin. Oh, very Feel nice. Your legs turning the pedals. Oh. And Steve is doing the work, so I love it even oh. more. Our friends here are stuck. Are you okay? Oh no! Is it broken? If you if you push the the knob up, oh. it goes right. It's broken. So for left, you should go down. Lower left. Down left. Now paddle forward. Yang atas ke kiri, yang di tengah, straight. Yang di bawah ke kanan. Shout out to Yvonne. Oh, no, no, the other way. Did you say it wrong? Did you say it wrong? Yes. What did you tell them? What did you tell them? The, 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 the first one to the left is to the right, right? Up is right. Oh, no. I mixed it up. I hope they're okay, okay? Now they're stuck in a mud, Ivana. <laughs> They'll figure it out. Yeah, There's they're smart people. Fun. They're, they're laughing fun. their head out. I hear them laughing in the background. It's all good. And that was an accidental uh, sabotage by Ivana. That was an intentional sabotage. <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> Ooh, They survive anyway. They're They'll be fun. fine. They'll, have, they'll get their money's worth. <laughs> They'll have a story for their friends. It's all good. Yeah, look at this. Very enchanting. I love it. <laughs> I wish this river is longer though. Yeah, that was That's a bit of a short ride. What was the price? What was the price? Twelve ringgit. Which per is person. not bad. No, no, no. Twelve total? Yeah. Not, not, not so bad. Yeah. Fair price. Yeah. For thirty minutes, so we can still go around. We have time, but oh, it's our okay. friends we'll are waiting, so we're gonna go. Uh oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh, it's gonna be bumper boats. Yeah. Good job. Oh. Bye -bye. Hi.
Okay, now we gotta park this bad boy. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, I would say worth twelve rings. Yeah. I have fun. Although, <laughs> although if you're going, make sure you bring someone who actually pedals the boat. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I think it's uh, tiptoes only over here, babe. Okay, no shoes. Oh, no shoes. Everyone's leaving there. She's oh. And then you walk on the rocks here, like a full massage. It hurts. This is uh, a test of your faith, Ivana. It's like walking on hot coals, okay? I'm going to go ahead and take the easy way out. If anybody knows, the, there must be some Buddhist aspect of this. Maybe if we see someone, we'll ask them. There must be some... You look like you're in... What do you mean? <laughs> it's painful, actually. Well, I think it's good for you. I think it's quite therapeutic. <laughs> I think it's quite therapeutic. I tell you what, it looks very therapeutic, babe. The way you're writhing in pain looks like medicine to me. <laughs> Maybe we'll ask the comments. If anyone knows what this means, this has got to be some sort of Buddhist thing, test of your faith, the, the difficulty of walking through life, the overcoming of things that are beneath you. You're this close to being Buddhist, babe. If you focus, it's less painful. Maybe that's the message. Yeah. If you focus your chakras or something. If you focus your will, you can do it. If I focus all the way, what is this? That was a drop the mic moment, babe. That was a drop the mic. I had to drop the mic for you. <laughs> What's happening here, babe? Remember what you said about focusing your will? You can take the easy way or the hard way. The hard way is more challenging, but more uh, fulfilling. Okay. The easy way is just me. So, so, so what, uh, what way do you call this? I gave up half <laughs> All right, check out this restaurant. It's called the museum. Ivana's already inside. Oh, look at that! Right at the front door. Oh, cool restaurant. Yeah. We're sitting in line. Yeah. Look at this piece of meat. It looks so good, char siu. And I heard that this place, museum, has the best char siu. So it's actually kind of like a British style restaurant, but they serve Chinese food, which is interesting. Look at this, it's so thick. Let me try. <laughs> mm. It smells in your mouth. And you can taste the sweetness of the char siu. Char siu is the pork, actually. Pork dish. And I don't know what kind of sauce they have, but it's so good. And this is thick, really thick piece and juicy. Because normally, some char siu is very dry. This is very good. Looks juicy. good. Juicy. Looks really good. One of the best. One of my favorite food in the world, actually. <laughs> this char siu, yeah. Very good. Okay, let's enjoy. We got a whole table full of goodness. So. Let's eat. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Big, really thick piece. Char siu. Ken. Ken. We're going to order one more plate of char siu. It's really good. Absolutely. Five star Tarshu. <laughs> really glad we're getting more Tarshu because honestly, I've done my adventurous eating for one day. And on this table, we have the biggest tofu that I've ever seen in my life. And it honestly is scaring me. <laughs> and we've got some clams, which are both kind of too adventurous for me today. So I'm going to stick with the Tarshu, which is really good Tarshu. Mm. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, uh, 
What does it taste like? Tofu is really soft on the inside. And the outside is kind of a little bit crunchy. Very good. Do you know, can I ask you a question, Yvonne? Mm -hmm. Do you know what tofu is? Because I honestly don't know what it is. And that's why it scares me. Soybean. It looks like stuff to me. It's like soybean. It's like soy milk that has been parted somehow. Is it like a hot dog made out of soy stuff? Hot dog? In a way that it's all just stuff? Like hot dog, no. you don't even know what meat it is, it's just a hot dog. It's like soy milk. Made of soy milk. Oh, there's something good coming. Oh, more. Second round for that. Second, Second round. round. <laughs> so I think the reason I'm so nervous of tofu is because I don't know what it is. And I've learned today it's made from soybean. And do you know what a soybean is? Do you know what a soybean looks like? I've never seen a soybean in my life, I don't think. There's one from this dish. This is soybean? Yeah. Okay, let's get a look at this. Now, is soybean related to soy sauce? Yes. I actually soy didn't know that. Soy sauce is made from soybean. Okay, there's soy sauce and there's soya sauce. Same thing. Yeah. Why, why does one say soya and why does one say soy? Do you know? I don't know either. Sometimes it's S O Y A. I think soya is Asian. Soy is English. Oh, language thing. Yeah. Soy bean makes soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Why is soy sauce black? The bean is not black. <laughs> Maybe it's been. I don't know what the process is. <laughs> Just ask Google. <laughs> Google. <laughs> why is it black? I don't know. And why is soy sauce so good? Mm. And soybean. Have you had soybean? Let me try that one. No, this is actually it's not real soybean. It's a. It has been like fermented. Yeah. Like, and fermented you use it soybean. To cook in more, uh, like lots of Asian dish dishes use like fermented soybean. So you can try it. This is fermented. Oh yo 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 yo. yo. <laughs> I think my fear comes from ignorance. <laughs> Quite good. <laughs> really? Quite good. So this is soybean. Mm. Yeah. Fermented. And so somehow what? this makes soy sauce. I am so surprised you said it's good. <laughs> I thought you wouldn't like it. Quite good. Really? It's very strong and funky. I like strong flavors. It's quite nice. <laughs> this vlog took a turn when I saw the two kilogram chunk of tofu. I said, oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't have it. I can't have it. Just, it just scares me. I am ashamed to admit that we finished every piece of food on that table except for my piece of tofu and I understand I started the vlog by saying I really want to try everything and I want to like every type of food but something about tofu it just the sight of it the unknown of it it just scares me I think I need to go to the uh, there must be a history of tofu museum <laughs> this would it's, really help me because ironic because one of the most popular dessert from Ipoh is tofu pho which is made from tofu so I don't really want to try it because people say it's really good. It's really smooth. It's tofu really dessert. Good, but it all depends on him. Dessert is always good, so I'm willing to try. But uh, it just, I don't know why they make it into this cake. Like in Brazil, they eat beans and rice. Very yummy. Yeah. If it was just, if it was just rice on the plate and soybeans, beans right. and rice, right. it's very good. But the fact that it's in this mysterious cake it yeah. always looks wet it's like always kind of mushy good point Steve. and it and and it looks sort of like it's just alarming to look at so anyway i failed my mission of trying to like all foods and good point. enjoy everything but maybe we can do like a tofu farm i should say soybean farm something oh. to something to humanize the soybean and stop making it so mysterious you can make tofu in one video <laughs> we'll look into trying to learn more about soybeans because even the term soy milk makes me think it's gross because it's not it's milk. actually not good for you and it's actually not milk it's soy juice at the very least right. anyway uh stay tuned for some tofu yeah and some maybe a generic soybean vlog because yeah. Today, my goal of trying all food was a total disaster i i took one piece well, of tofu and i said i can't do it today the highlight for me was the temple absolutely uh, right the, the paddling what 
guess Absolutely you can right. call that like paddling I'll call boat. it a paddle boat. Pa paddle boat. Yeah. Uh, in that temple, it's very really nice, great. very picturesque. Yeah, super and relaxing also and the nice. Was the charshu was one really of good. The that place with the noodles in the morning, very very good. Yeah, very very good food in here in Ipoh. Uh, I tried to be as respectful as I could when I had my I don't like tofu moment. <laughs> it's not because that's okay. It's bad because I just don't have a familiar taste for it yeah. yet. Anyway, thanks for watching our video. We'll see you tomorrow. Lots more Ipoh good stuff coming. Lots more food. Shout out to Ipoh. Later.